Welcome back to the NECC. Tonight is championship night, and our next match will look to live up to the hype. Missouri Baptist absolutely lit up the Western Challengers division this year, going an undefeated 9-0 in all nine outings, and they've only dropped one game here in the playoffs. Led by Tendo, Stoli, and Blue Phoenix, this team is looking to make a trip to Menards tonight to bring home the hardware. However, on the opposite end, Boise State has only dropped one match all year long, and it was to these very Spartans they play tonight. A final chance for vengeance in Cinderella's last chance to dance here. We'll see if the clock's going to strike midnight on Bronco Mania. Spartans, Broncos, let's get it poppin'. My name is Ethan Dolan, probably better known as Nell, and I'm joined in the booth tonight by Grant once again. How are we feeling about this game? We're feeling great. We're ready for another good match containing Bronco Mania. And like you said, these records, they're close. One game being dropped all season to the very undefeated team that they are going up against in the West Challengers division. I am so excited for this because this could literally go either way, despite how almost perfect their records look. Yeah, and it's odd, Grant, to call a number two seed a Cinderella, but that's exactly what this game does feel like. The Spartans have been so good all year long. They have absolutely flattened. They have put every other team into a pancake that they played all year long, just eating them up left and right. But they've only been pushed to four games by the Broncos and once in the playoffs. I don't think anyone's taken to five all year long. So despite this being a one-two matchup, this game feels like it's just massively in favor of Missouri Baptist. It does. It feels like a huge landslide despite, you know, them going eight and one and Baptist going nine and oh, it, it does feel like it's going to be pretty close. So as soon as we get the players on the field, as soon as they're ready to go, I think they're waiting on a couple of things. There might be a little bit of issues here, but Ethan, what's the thing you're looking forward to the most? I get it. It's championship night. Like explain the atmosphere. What do you think these players are thinking? Grant, there are a lot of big things going on in this atmosphere, but there is one three-word phrase that changes the game here for the finals in the NECC. Best of seven. We oh, don't boy. know these distances. We don't know these lengths. These teams most likely have never played in a best of seven. Best of five feels like the standard, and it's what they've had all season long. Grant, they need to find that second win. They need to find the afterburners. By God, I hope someone brought some nitro because this isn't just a sprint. It's a marathon. You're going to need that nitro, and you're going to have to gas up, get some petrol on the way too. The best of seven changes the game for me, Grant. There's so much opportunity to come back, and there's so so much opportunity to blow a big lead. And there's also such a big opportunity to just keep on going. You could find yourself on match point and the other team hasn't scored anything. But if you burn out then, that is going to be your worst nightmare. It's happened before. We've seen best of seven sweeps. It does exist. It it, it exists in history. It could come now. And man, I hope we see a full seven game series, but we'll not, we won't know until we get it underway. I can't really gauge these two teams. I don't know how really they play because I don't even think I've casted any of these teams and how I would have loved to get my osmosis through the monitor and get all that information sucked into the brain. I didn't make time for it. Yeah, absolutely, Grant. Well, I am here to tell you that these Spartans have a lightning-fast offense, and we're going to see if that's display here early on in game number one as we are finally getting underway. Missouri Baptist Spartans going up against the Boise State Broncos. Winner takes it all in the West Challengers division, Grant. Oh, yes, they do. What a prize it will be. What a feeling it would be. Here's Thunderama off the wall. A big miss here to start us off. Circuit takes over and beats out two. Sends it around the back wall. Puts it out to the other side. Now they'll have to retreat. Let Thunderama come through. Puts one up for Tendo to block. Circuit as that third man. Has a decent clear, but Tendo's going to get involved. Quickness on the goal line. No, a shot blocked off the post and goes in eventually. Tendo for four. Yeah, Tendo going to find our first goal of the game here. Bit of a miscommunication. 
Stu almost gets that to go. Tendo coming through saying, thank you very much. That is an easy goal to start off, and the Broncos have to shore up their defense. You can't be giving up goals like that in the championship game. That has to be saved for weeks one, two, three. I don't care, all the way up to week nine. You can't have it here. You can't have it now, especially against a Spartan team this talented. They will make you pay for every missed opportunity. They absolutely will, but Circuit is going to do their best to get this ball out of there. They put it to midfield. Thunderama's 50. Unsuccessful. Oh, no. It's a sick redirect if they were the attacking team, but it results in an own goal instead. Wow. Stoli right there putting it on Thunderama. A little clip, but beautiful goal. Beautiful passing play. Those are the goals that I'm much more okay giving up. That last goal for Boise State. Not a great look. This one, solid, solid piece of passing, solid bit of teamwork. I just want to point out the drip that has come out. Circuit brought out the battle bus for the championship. That is a bold statement, ladies and gentlemen. Like a fat guy wearing a crop top. I don't know if I would do it. <laughs> well, fat guy wearing a crop top. That is quite the way to put this one. But not only is it a battle bus, but it is a golden battle bus so yeah you're right the drip has come out here but toxic's got the mechanical skills goes around one gives it to our golden battle bus player tendo throws it over the top to midfield blue phoenix unsuccessful toxic throws it into a 1v1 looks for the demo might not get it pinch deflected off the physics tendo gets one by the first attacker not the second though circuits double tap goes backwards towards toxic who puts it up high. Stoli will take over. Thunderama with another play to midfield. Circuit puts it right back. It's, it's a whole matter of getting it into uncontested territory. These players are kind of putting the ball back to where it's, you know, where there's a, a place saturated with players and they need to look for that empty space so they can actually continue a play. Yeah, and Stoli looking for something here into the corner. Thunder on playing defense. Tendo, a solid contact. Up for this one. Stoli not going to find it. Circa not there either. Blue Phoenix going to get that ball taken away from them. Thunder on playing into the corner. But alas, the offense is able to find a center. A clear does finally come through, Grant. But here on the back end, the Spartans right back at it with the offense. They just can't be stopped. Right now, Boise State can't do enough on defense. They've tried to find some offense there. Stoli there to stuff that one up. Circuit, the center there, trying to keep this possession alive. Not going to find much. Thunderama there in the midfield. Maybe an opportunity to go here, but Stoli takes it away at the last second. Yeah, great play so far. Toxic almost got a shot on. But like I said, these players keep clearing it back to each other. But Stoli looks for the double tap. Doesn't find it in the shot afterwards. Rings the post. A valiant effort put up, but nothing to come of it just yet. Yeah, nothing for the Broncos of yet a minute 50 to play here. They've got a lot of time, but Missouri Baptist is just not allowing many quality opportunities. Toxic there, not a bad look, not a lot of follow-up. However, they do find a demo. Thunder setting it up to circuit, but that battle bus can't quite get around the side. Tendo here trying to play it off and find some separation. Has to stand defense. Toxic coming through. There's a center. Doesn't find anything. Dangerous position here for Boise. They're able to clear that ball. Yeah, such great composure on both sides right now. The reason why we haven't seen another goal break that goal line just yet. Hold on a second. There's Thunderama. Puts it within one and gets the first goal for Boise State. Grant, this goal is absolutely beautiful. Thunderama takes it air and throws it down low. Gets a little help with the bounce. Finds the Broncos their first one of the game and a big, big goal to get on the board. Maybe find some momentum. There is so much time on the clock, a near eternity with a minute and some change to go. They just have to find one more goal to send this one to overtime. And they might be able to do it here if they can just get off of their half. Get these clears set up and ready to go. This one actually put awkwardly. Toxic takes advantage. Plants it to the corner. Stully down low. Doesn't make contact. Thunderama tries again. Trying to reset up the ball that they were unable to set up before. Toxic gets the boost. Blue Phoenix gets the ball. Now back out. Thunderama has been everywhere trying to set something up. They're trying to stir up the competition. They're just unable to put it in a place where their teammates can get to it before the opponents. 
Yeah, and that demo by the Spartans absolutely massive. I really like how they're playing right now, Grant. It's going to be tough for the Broncos to find a goal here, just how they're playing, but good bit of defense right there. They may find something. Circuit on the back end, using every ounce of that battle bus to their advantage. Can't quite find oh. the touch they're looking for. There's the setup. Good defense. They've got to find a way to get a past Tendo here, Grant. This third man just so, so punishing for the Spartans right now with 10 on the clock. Eight to go. Ooh, the Broncos. I don't think they're going to find it, but oh. there is Toxic. Sends it. Tendo is back on the other end. That was their one shot. Can they play it down? Tendo here trying to do just that, and game number one goes to the Spartans. Oh, goodness. That one was close for sure, but the Broncos just unable to get that one extra goal. Like you said, that was going to be the opportunity if at any point in those last few seconds. But, man, you also mentioned that third man role being so unrelenting, putting on that pressure. And it's something that I like to stress a lot of the time is that if that third man's not solid, your offense won't stick around for very long. You'll find yourself retreating backwards and having to reset eventually, or maybe even suffering of an offensive attack on yourselves. So a lot of things to look forward or not look forward to, but look for is how quick can you be on those aerials right now? That's what is kind of being the issue for Boise State. You know, they put on some pressure, but that third man kind of lacking. If they can get up to the ball, they can be quick and continue the play, stick with it and control it in the air. Then they'll be able to pull out a bit of an extra edge. Yeah, very close game here, Grant. For as great as we talked about Missouri Baptist being early on, as great as these Spartans are, the Broncos came to play. We've seen a lot of sweeps today in the playoffs, in this championship day. I don't think that will be the case. Bronco Mania, I, I, I think the Spartans might have a case. The second half of that game, right, Broncos were on a 1-0 run. They had a shot on goal just about to end the game. They are just ramping up here, Grant. I'm excited to see what they can do in game number two. You and me both. We are both excited because, again, it's championship day. It doesn't get more exciting to this. This is the pinnacle. This is the end. This is what these players have been waiting for all season to qualify for such an event. And now that they're here, they're looking to prove themselves. So hopefully they can tighten up a couple things, figure out where their holes are, and just fill them up a little bit and not let so much through, not let so much happen, but play a more confident game. Again, game one was close, but game two could be a little closer yeah that's the beautiful thing about championship weekend grant every other game you're looking forward you're saying how does this set us up nine weeks of the regular season two weeks of playoffs you're looking forward to saying if we win this game we get the higher seed if we win the semifinals we advance if we win the quarterfinals we keep going on grant none of that matters there's nothing but this current game nothing should be on anybody's mind that is why this game is so exciting that's why today is so exciting that's why the necc is so exciting there's nothing for either team to lose but everything here. Yeah, you're right. It's like you grind for so long. You come to this, nobody wants to lose. So if they do lose, it's like, well, what was it all for? Nobody remembers who comes in second place. It is all championship or bust in these very moments. You made it this far. These players have worked hard, and they are going to do everything it takes to make sure they secure that trophy and now we're getting everybody ready. Everybody's joining the match. We're getting even closer to seeing that game two start to heat up and go again. Get the wheels spinning literally and figuratively. Yeah, start tapping that boost button just a little bit to remember what it feels like to be alive in between these matches. Grant, watch out for Boise's offense. I think that they're a little frustrated by the third man play coming out from Missouri Baptist. I am expecting them to commit a little more than maybe they should, but they are a talented enough team to get away with it at times. We'll see if they can get away with it here in game number two. Yes, we will. Fresh clock, five minutes to go. Stully is going to start us off, stalling the ball in the midfield for an air dribble. Tendo takes to the corner. Now Toxic tries their hand at it. Two on the backboard, an almost triple commit for Missouri Baptist. Circuit goes for the 50, doesn't need it. Oh, has a lot of wide open space on the rotation of defense. Toxic can't score, maybe Thunder can. 50 somehow oh. comes through to the top 90. Thunderama gets a goal, Grant. What did I say? Trip, 
all, all, all three members up on offense here. I'm expecting this all game long. I don't know if they can get away with it all game long, but I'm expecting a lot of aggression out of this offense. I would be frustrated losing by one goal to the team that was undefeated. Your only loss all year long. I think these trigger figures are going to get a little itchy as Blue Phoenix itching for an aerial goal right there. Folks, just like we said, Missouri Baptist undefeated, and if anybody is to defeat them, it is going to be these Broncos. They're coming in hot, but they're suffering the pressure right now. Thunderama is desperately trying to keep this one goal lead. Stoli wants to end it now. They can't get it done. The double tap fails. Stoli right back, though, tries a second time, has a shot blocked by Circuit. Great save on the goal line. Blue Phoenix continues the push in, and the pressure will die. I want to hear zero battle bus slander in chat. That massive vehicle getting it done right there, coming in. Almost have an opportunity to score right there. Stooley here in the midfield looking for a good passing play. Boise State can't take it away. This could be trouble. Tendo with it. A lot of opportunity, a lot of options. The setup, Stooley going to be able to knock that one home. And we are all tied up at one goal apiece. Just a lot of quick strikes to the net. You pepper it enough and there's one left. When you got that numbers advantage, of course it's going to go in. Pressure plus numbers equals more goals. Equals more goals indeed, Grant. That's some quick math for you out here on the pitch. Tendo up for that one. Going to miss it. Boise State made an opportunity here, but solid bit of defense in Blue Phoenix. Toxic trying to find something. There is a demo. Can they find the 2v3 goal? Toxic up for it. Ooh, nearly had some separation. Couldn't quite find it. Regardless, the Broncos continue their attack. Beautiful pass right there, but no one is up for it, Grant. A little bit sluggish. Yeah, just a little bit, but Circuit's shot actually here goes pretty quickly. So as you say it, maybe you spoke it right back into existence with our old caster's curse because that speed just picked up for a moment for the Broncos. You thought they'd have another good opportunity, and really they need that as soon as possible. Maybe they can formulate something as Thunderama plays to the sidewall. Toxic gets there before Tendo on their way back home. Now 50 goes towards the net. It will just be off. Blue Phoenix around, getting in the way of Stully. A bit of miscommunication right now from Missouri. It's looking a little bit, I mean, they look a little bit frustrated because they're trying to get this goal, but nothing's really coming of it right now. Thunderama tries to get involved, but hopefully Missouri aren't going to be stepping on each other's toes for much longer. Yeah, absolutely. Looking a little bit frustrated. Indeed! Oh, going to be frustrated. They didn't net that goal. Thunderama, there's the center. Double coming on defense, but it's going to work out beautifully. Grit, I think that frustration as well that you're talking about leads to sloppiness. And what does sloppiness lead to? Poor defense, poor offense, poor everything, and the loss. You got to keep that mental game strong. Stoli looking for it. Can't find it there. The follow through. Absolutely stonewalled by Thunderama. In comes the absolute unit that is the battle bus. Circuit looking for something. Going up against Stoli here. Going to find it into the corner. There's a bit of an inadvertent center by the defense. The offense can't take advantage, however. And Boise State going to miss out on another solid opportunity. Yeah, opportunities just go into the wayside every single time. But this defense for Missouri Baptist is just looking phenomenal. Great pass. Just wasn't quite on target with their teammate. The angle was a little off, but this one won't be. Plays it off the corner and sidewall to move up field. Now they have a fake out. Tendo not going to be faked out by this one, but Toxic will be in retreat. Circuit plays it back. Blue Phoenix not quick enough. It's a good center right back. Circuit taking over again. Tendo out to midfield, finds Blue Ooh. Phoenix, dunked over there. Demo on the goal line, open things up for a second, but they won't be able to capitalize quick enough. Now a flick for Tendo. Missouri Baptist might be closing in on another offensive attack, but they're low on boost. This one might not last for very long. They got to take this next shot that they can get and make sure that it counts. Here they come. No, it's off. I'll tell you what, there's not much more satisfying than watching the battle bus get a demo. Oh my goodness, that was absolutely fantastic. Looking to use that mass a little bit more around the goal line. Solid opportunity here. The Broncos are going to be able to play that one back into the corner. Just about half a minute to go left oh. in this one, and it is close. 30 yeah. seconds. Nope, I was just going to say that, Grant. Send that. Send it. Then I was just going to say the trust looking a little dodgy over here on the defensive side of Boise State. So that was just a little thing I wanted to point out. 
<laughs> Trust not looking the best in the booth either, I guess, to start things off here. <laughs> 10 on the clock. Opportunity in the corner. Oh, look at that oh. shot. Stoli sends it home. And with seven seconds to go, the Spartans snag the lead. Oh, and they might snag this game two for the second game in a row as well. Seven seconds to go. It's going to be a tall ask for Boise State. Can Bronco Mania run wild in the last final seconds of game two? We are certainly about to find out. They get one chance, one opportunity. They'll need to make it count. Oh, they're on the offense. No, they will drop it. Missouri Baptist, unsuccessful on offense. Didn't need to be because they're successful in game two. I thought you were about to go in the whole rap there. One opportunity, one shot, one moment. Is everything you ever wanted? Come on, Grant. <laughs> I, I, I expected more out of you. you call know, call me uncultured. Rap gods sometimes, but why not actually just go into it? <laughs> hey, I'm not a rapper. I'm a poet, all right? Poet. Lyricist Grant on the mic. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. <laughs> yeah. Well, going to have to be a lyricist giving this speech right now to the Broncos because they are down bad and the games are close they just can't quite find their closer grant they can't find that one player that they can count on to bring them home to get them out of sticky situations they're playing great team ball but we need a hero to step up from the bunch yeah you're right and we look you know typically to the bottom of the scoreboard you know cutting the points in half literally goes 400 200 100 so literal exponential growth here from boise state but circuit in that battle bus, you know, I haven't really said their name much. We noticed that, I mean, they're a player on the field because they've got a golden battle bus. I mean, how much more eye-catching does it get than that? I don't know. But Circuit, they haven't really contributed a, contributed a lot to the play itself and every drive that they're making. I don't find myself saying their name. And for me, as a play-by-play -play commentator, if I'm not saying your name, and I'm saying names all the time, that brings a bit of concern. So I think if I were to trust my gut here, I'd go with Circa. I think that's the player that needs to step up and get a bit more involved. You know, bulldoze your way, not only through opponents for demos, but bulldoze your way through the net. Get those goals for Boise State. Step up because that battle bus packs a punch. Yeah, looking a little short circuit right now at the bottom of the leaderboard. Can't find much productivity. We're going to see if that changes down the stretch here. Game number three is upon us here. And a solid center opportunity here at the start for the Broncos. Oh, they missed both shot opportunities. Circuit coming up from the back end. We're going to see if they can salvage this, but it doesn't look like it for the time being. Oh. Tando coming through. That one going to be just wide. Such a great opportunity for Missouri, but unfortunately they miss. Blue Phoenix will just strike a little bit high, and Toxic gets the clear. Game three, starting off right. Circuit gets a save. Missouri right back into it. Blue Phoenix jumped really early there. Thunderama gets a fantastic save. Now they've got control and a full tank of boost as well to the ceiling. Stoli gets the read. Circuit, can they get involved? They run out of boost as well. And that's one of the things is pushing up field. You got to make sure that you have the boost to be able to get up there. Big opportunities missed again. Oh, no, the trust. I told you it'd be deadly for one of these teams. And this time it bites Missouri Baptist right as they were closing in on the lead. Absolutely, it does grip right there. Missouri Baptist, they had an open goal, open opportunity. They couldn't convert. We're going to see if this does come back to bite them in the long run. Looking for it here, though. The Spartans staying on the offensive. Tendo in the corner. Can't find anything there. Battle bus up for the oh. big clear. Oh, yeah, they are. They're up for the big plays as well. Missouri still hold this offensive attack down and well. Blue Phoenix off the back wall. This is a striking opportunity that nobody's going to miss, and Tendo will score. Yeah, Tendo finds that goal easily. Broncos got to be kicking themselves for allowing a look this open, a look this gosh darn good. Spartan strike first here in game number three. And again, Broncos, they are not in the place that they were expecting here. Yes, they've lost a, ser or lost a game, I guess you could call it a series. We'll, we'll just do that for continuity's sake. They've lost a <laughs> series to these Spartans before. So, I mean, now that, I think this, this was going to be the team that they were going to fear. And honestly, if they lose again here, it's like, well, they beat us before. And the eventual champions, it's not, it's not bad to lose to the champions, you know, especially if you get knocked out early, which isn't the case here. I can tell you, though, knocking away balls is Thunderama with some incredible saves right now. 
Yeah, knocking away those balls on the defensive end, but big for the Broncos to keep these Spartan leads small despite trailing two games to Grant. They've only lost by one point both times. A total point differential of just two goals so far in this series. Thunderama trying to find a goal of their own. Bit of a miscommunication here. Missouri Bat was caught in the corner. Thunderama redirect, not going to be able to find anything there. Circuit going up for the big challenge. Stoli going to outrun that one. Thunderama the center. Romania's oh. back. We are knotted up at one apiece. Toxic getting it to go. You look at Thunderama with a couple pops up high and Toxic with the final strike. Everybody up for the play on Missouri's half, but unable to get it done. And I think one thing right now is Missouri. They've got the pace, but I think their area of vulnerability is jumping for the ball too soon. Not necessarily pre-jumps, but they just want to beat their opponents to the ball. So if Boise State plays a bit more of a patient game, I think they'll be able to capitalize on a bunch of stuff. Now, patient does not equal passive. You gotta play like yourself. You gotta play aggressive. But if you can wait out those mistakes from Missouri Baptist, I think we could see some more goals in favor of Bronco Mania. Yeah, and waiting it out shouldn't be too hard here. Just two minutes to go in this one. More than half done. Circuit looking for something oh. here. There's a center. Broncos is not a position to take advantage of that. Circuit in the midfield. Solid contact to stop the offense. Toxic. Solid pinch. Can they find something here? Tendo. Good bit of defense to take that away. But here's Circuit in that big old battle bus. Not able to find much. There's the center. Circuit playing that third man. Getting back a bit. Good touch here, Thunderama just can't quite find the angle. And Stoli out to the side wall. Circuit takes control. Oh, hang on, taking control in the air is Stoli Ooh. just off the crossbar. So close, inches away from a highlight reel shot. Unfortunately, they'll miss. That one's got to hurt a little bit, oh. but Toxic with another great save. Keeping this game tied up. Toxic tries the counterattack, leaves this one out, gets a demo along the way, Circuit. Sends it across. Stully trying to move away from the play here. Toxic has been all over this ball. It's been Circuit, or not Circuit, Toxic and Thunderama who have involved themselves in just about everything here. And now we got to see Circuit play that third man comfortably and let Toxic and Thunder be up as that striker. Oh, goodness. Thunder holding down the defense yet again. They'll save it for now. But 30 seconds, these Spartans are closing in. Closing in, they are. Another solid opportunity, can't find anything. But the Broncos rotations in goal. That front post, back post goal. Everything looking gorgeous right now. Save them multiple times, but they're not gonna have it here. Tendo finding a goal from the left-hand corner. And it's been the same story every single time for the Spartans. 2-1 is the score now. Oh boy. This is a close championship game. Every single game so far has been a one goal lead that results in the win. Can Broncos change that story right now in game three? If not, they'll find themselves on match point. That pinch looked really good, but too slow to react were the Broncos off of it. Now Missouri, they've got a couple more seconds to wait as the clock hits zero. Yes, it does. They are sitting one game away from a championship trophy. We have seen this movie before in the writer's room. It's not very creative. Our third straight two to one win here for the Spartans grant. The magic number for Boise State is three. Score three goals and this series is yours. It is mm -hmm. evident that your defense is good enough. It is evident that Missouri Baptist is not scoring more than two goals. And the last two games, that second goal has come pretty late in the clock with time dwindling down. Three goals has to be the goal for the Broncos here. And Broncos, you got to have a full reset here. You have a reverse sweep as your task in front of you if you want this. And we know you do. We know that you want it badly. And if you want it that badly, you need a full mental reset here because you're going to have to treat it like a fresh series and you're trying to get those wins. You just have to keep going. Treat it like another day in the park, another day at the office, whatever that may be for you. You need to hard reset and get your head back in the game because there are four games you got to take now. Once again, look at the scoreboard. We need a little bit more production out of circuit. That is the member that I'm looking at. Not to step up and be the main person. Not to step up and win the game, but not 
not hurt the team. We need to see a lot more from Circuit here, Grant. We need to see a bit more sauce seeping from that battle bus. Oh, yeah. We got possibly, potentially, one last game if Missouri Baptists are able to take this one out. They might start off quick with a goal, but it's just blocked out. Tendo out to the corner. Toxic takes over, planting this one high. Oh, it's going to drift downwards. Here's a block from Blue Phoenix. Circuit gets involved. Pass to Toxic. It's a redirect, but not good enough. Thunderama with the 50 keeps the ball in play. Not the best 50 backwards, but Toxic. Great third man positioning here. Now they want to pass mid. Everybody's scrambling on the Spartan end, but that's a huge clear from Blue Phoenix to give them the breathing room. Breathing room is going to be important oh. here. Big save. Oh my goodness. Speaking of breathing room, barely any time to catch your breath after that. Toxic uh -oh. trying to clear it out, Grant. I do like you talking about breathing room. You got to be able to clear this ball for the Broncos. You can't score when the ball's always on your half circuit trying to find something off the wall. That place can get blown up. Thunderama, there's a oh. center. Tendo there, but taken away by Toxic. Thunderama back up for it a little high and doesn't find the follow. I almost want to say that was a double commit. I heard somebody jump from behind. I don't know if it was a teammate or an opponent on the retreat. Either way, here's a pass, and the Broncos will get one. This game is battle busting right there. What a goal, Circuit. Finally finding the one they were looking for. We talked about Circuit after games two and three and delivering in a big way right here. And they did meet our expectations finally they get a goal looking for a second here missouri baptist they do not want to get complacent right now they want to find this goal as soon as possible they would love to take it in four games and be a dominant champion then we ask the questions who is going to beat them they have the mental toughness oh, oh my goodness we've spoken it into existence call it caster's blessing because that is the first goal for missouri tando this is beautiful right here in circuit i mean out, outruns the ball, but there's no reason to think you're going to have to be defending from that position. Tendo, absolutely masterful in the air there. Beautiful stuff. Circuit, going to get a solid touch to kick this one off, but here is Stoli. Big Whoa. setup right there. Going to be just high, coming through for the follow. Not going to find a Thunderama up, but Tendo, a lot more agency there. Missouri Baptist becoming so quick. These Spartans are relentless right now. Here comes Tendo, big miss there. Toxic gets beat out. This is the pace quickening from the Spartans if they can keep this going. It is no doubt in my mind that they will get another goal. But here's a shot, Tendo, it's on the goal line, but they will follow through. Thunderama gets the lead. You know what, very on flavor. Circuit in the battle bus, drops it off right there. Thunderama coming through, bringing it home. The Broncos, first time all day long, have scored two goals in a game. This is the biggest lead we've seen from them yet. Even though it's one goal, this could be closing the series soon enough. We've seen that Missouri Baptist have Oh, oh my gosh, I just saw somebody change teams to respawn quicker is what that looked like. I saw somebody leave for a second. I have no idea, but we should probably check that one for gameplay integrity. This is a goal for Missouri Baptist, but I don't know in how good spirit it was. Yeah, I did not catch that at all, but something to review the takes for sure. We're going to leave that to production and the board to look at. Right now, what we are looking at is a game that is knotted up at two apiece. Obviously, we do hope that the players are keeping the highest competitive integrity in this one because it's been a good game so far. Everything we talked about, Grant, we've seen. Circuit stepping up, but Missouri Baptist isn't backing away. No, they're not, man. I really hope that that wasn't what it looked like, but it does take a lot. It takes a lot of button clicks to get to the change team screen, so it certainly had to have been intentional. There's no accidents about it, but you're right. You know, both of these teams are starting to just go at it, but I, I just don't know. My brain is just in such a poor place. I, I, I know I saw a blue name disappear on that bottom, on that bottom name list, and then it reappeared. It had to have been a changed team. I have no idea, but my, I'm just not in a, in a good place to, you know, if this one does go in favor of Missouri Baptist, I think it'd be a dirty win if what I saw was actually what happened. 
Yeah, once again, we will have someone check on that later on. We do have a board to deal with these kind of things, but for the time being, we're going to see if the Broncos can find a goal here. Not going to get it. Toxic looking for the center. Circuit rotating around, and they're not going to find a goal here despite solid offensive opportunity. Well, here comes Blue Phoenix pass up field to Stully. Finds it off and up around Toxic. Oh, they're going to get intercepted by Blue Phoenix. Once again, these clears. We need to find that empty space if we want to get this out of here. Circuit plays it to a decent part of the field. Miscommunication for Missouri Baptist. Toxic can't get there quick enough. Here's a play off the wall. We've seen Stully try this before. Can they get it this time? Flip reset to the top shelf for the lead. This could possibly be the way they take this championship. Stooley, that was absolutely dirty and a fantastic play to potentially put this game away. The Broncos have got to find some more offense. They've had a lot more than their prior games, but right here, right now, is where it all counts. One minute away from glory for the Spartans. Stooley might put it off. For Tendo, they try a shot, but it's just low. Toxic gets in the way. Now Tendo collides, throwing the defense off guard a little bit. Double commits from Broncos. They're looking a little shaky as these final seconds tick away. And I mean, rightfully so. Pressure is settling in. Hope is fading. you got to score now or never. You need to get out of your own half. And they are desperately trying to clear it. But the boost game is low, and these Spartans are fast. Yeah, Circuit finding some separation, finding some distance there, but can't find anyone to meet him there. Toxic, good piece, but can't quite get the clue they're looking for. Here's Thunderama. This could be something big. Oh, mishandles the ball. Can't find what they're looking for. They may even give up a goal on the back end. Big save, but with five on the clock, they're going to need a miracle. Two to go. This game is over as soon as the ball touches the ground. Thunderama keeps it alive, oh. and it will touch the ground there. That will be all she wrote, the Missouri Baptist University Spartans find the sweep and they will be bringing home the championship in the Western Challengers Conference. A big congratulations to the Spartans for sure. But man, Broncos, not the performance they wanted, but they did have that good sportsmanship at the end. As I don't know if you guys can see in chat, but there were some hearts, some GGs, some well-deserved play. So really fantastic job. Certainly not the series we were all hoping or expecting, but it was the series that we got to witness. 4-0 in favor of Missouri Baptist University. So congratulations as the new West Challengers Division champions. Yeah, congratulations for sure, Grant. This is why we said coming in that it felt like the Broncos were a big underdog. One C differential, but Missouri Baptist has been so good all year long. High flying, great defense, great team play. They have just done it all, and midnight finally struck on the clock for this Cinderella story, and Bronco Mania is no more. Unfortunately, but that is where we will leave you guys. I don't know if we're going to do a player interview. There was a sweep, so it is a possibility. We'll get verification from our producer. Um, Regardless, so we will is... be having one. Uh, Grant, MVP for you. For me, honestly, I would have mind bringing the whole team here. It was, it was a fantastic performance, top to bottom. There didn't feel like there was a weak link. That chain felt strong all the way through. Mm -hmm, it did. It, it was a very solid team, regardless of everything that has happened. So, yeah, I say we get everybody in the booth and see what their thoughts are and how they're feeling. But we're going to run to an ad break first before we get that underway for you guys. We will see and we will see you on the other side in just a minute. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, certainly a very peculiar ending to tonight's championship. And actually, we've got some good or bad news for you. And that is, well, Missouri Baptist will be forfeiting game four to the other side because we noticed, like we were theorizing before, that there was a rule broken. And we're about to demonstrate it to you uh, as we speak right now. It's going to be a little scuffed, so bear with me. But what we did discover is with a saved replay here, we can notice that there's a demo. Oh, goodness. Here we go. There's a demo on Stoli in a few seconds from now. Right there. Now, theoretically, Stoli has a three-second respawn time. So he should spawn at 241. But I'll keep the scoreboard open for you as well. Because you'll notice he leaves the team and joins back to respawn quicker. Just before the clock hits 41. And... A, that's against the rules, and B, also just a split second before Circuit would have had their hands on that ball, potential scoring opportunity, and then add on top of that the fact that they are able to score this away. That is why they will be forfeiting game number four, and we are going to a game five. So that's the situation at hand. Unfortunately, it has to go this way, but I think it's what's right. Ethan, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I'm 100% on board. Very much shades of a playoff game last year, League of Legends, Champlain and Becker. We had some unsavory pausing in the middle of combat. We added another game on to the end of the series. It was all good. Um, obviously a shame to see at this level uh, these tricks, these tactics coming through. You know, we, we, we want a fair game, and it feels like the Spartans didn't need to do this, Grant. It felt unnecessary. They've been playing so well all game long, and I would hate for any of their performance, any of their fantastic undefeated season to come into question from anybody because of an event like this, because of behavior like right. this. But that's just the way things are. We're going to get our lobby set back up and uh, figure out all that for you guys. Maybe there is a lobby running. We'll have to get verification of it. Doesn't look like it. And so we'll get that all set up. I mean, obviously these players, they thought it was done. They're like, eh, tough loss. But I bet there's going to be great news for the Broncos when they hear that, oh, we, we get another shot at this. You know, we have another game to play. You know, they've already accepted defeat, though. But it's like, hold on a second. We, ha we now have a game. We have momentum in our favor. And this series could go all seven. Who has any idea? But regardless, this is now going to be a clean victory if Missouri Baptists are able to pick off this game.
Yeah, absolutely. Missouri Baptist trying to do what they already proved that they can and finish off this series. But Grant, we have no idea what's going to happen. There is so much emotional, mental whiplash after thinking you yeah. won the championship, thinking you lost the championship. Say, oh my gosh, it's not over yet. We have another chance to win. We have another chance to lose. What is happening? The first minute, I think, is going to set the tone, set the pace for me personally. Yeah. What team is going to come out on fire? What team yeah. is going to come out like the break didn't affect them? That's the team I would put my money on. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm right there with you every step of the way. And, you know, this one's on Champions Field. I just realized we've been on Champions Field the whole time. I thought we were doing a map rotation or not. <laughs> I'm, I, oh, wait, or maybe we did. No, I think we did. You know, sometimes the brain's got a bit of a loading symbol going on up here. It's still buffering a little bit before. Because I was like, oh, we're done here. And, you know, we're going to do a player interview. We're going to get everything set up. And I was like, nope. My theory was correct. I My eyeballs, they saw correctly. We saved the replay. We've reviewed the footage and uh, determined that we're going into game five. We're getting one half of the team on. And, hey, it's going to be the Broncos joining first. So, hey, that's morale. They're like, oh, shoot, we, we got another chance. This We're not out of it. We've got that game. Like, like I was saying, they're, they're ready to go. But Missouri, they might be a little frustrated. I think you're right with that whole mental game, that whiplash. I think that could be a huge factor in here. And honestly, I kind of hope it is. I think Broncos want some revenge, and we're all about a revenge story. And we just saw Circuit start to get things going there. I mean, maybe has a goal there if the respawn doesn't come through a second sooner. Who's to say? But Circuit was really finding things in that big old battle bus. You know what? Chat right now. Just big shout out to Grant for catching that. Something I would have absolutely not caught. I did not catch. You were talking about that loading screen. You ever seen The Office? You know, the, the, the DVD thing that bounces around the way for hit the corner? Yes. That is the single brain cell in my head at all points in time. <laughs> just boop, 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 boop. Oh, goodness. We're going to be, oh, oh, hang on a minute. We're going to have some more footage to review here. If I can get a timestamp on that, we've just been fed that Boise State saw that, that it happened in game two as well. So if they can give me a timestamp, I have all the replays automatically saved. So if they give me a timestamp, we can, we can review it together. We can have some fun here. This is a very, very weird championship, but honestly, th this stuff's fun to me. You know, it, look, looking through the replay and just being like, ooh, I get to officially kind of call this a little bit, you know? Well, we'll have a fun time. Just the audience, me and Ethan in the booth. I, I'm excited for it. If that is the case, they give me a timestamp. Stamp, I will go in and we find out together. Yeah, and if that does happen to be the oh. case, this series would be a two to two <laughs> dead heat. Grant, what are we laughing about? Oh. No, no, exactly that. The fact that how close it would be all of a sudden and that even more momentum goes in favor of the Broncos. If that is the case, that's crazy. That is, yeah. that is very interesting to think about. Oh my. Yeah, and once again, it would be a shame. We obviously don't want any type of behavior like this in the NECC, in esports as a whole. So we're going to see what did happen. We're going to take care of it accordingly. We appreciate everyone in chat sticking around. I would love to see some predictions depending on what happens here. Uh, we just want to handle things the right way. We are the league that puts the players first. So if there's anything, any malice that's happening between teams, any behavior that is below reproach, we want to get that sorted out and we will find the proper thing to do just stick around with us mm -hmm. yeah we will get those underway um does my mic sound good i think i've gotten a, a notification that my mic might not be sounding great but you were I, a bit robotic but you're all good now i think okay okay good that's what we like to hear mike is in check the casters were in check this game series uh maybe in check i have no idea i could tell you it's not in checkmate though because this one is not over we've got a lot of details to work out and see if we can kind of bandage this one up so let's hope we can get that yeah this definitely definitely is an odd feeling both teams just kind of waiting to see well is it gonna be one game forfeited will it be two we're not quite sure yet but the mentality here, Grant, what are you doing to keep your mental game high right now? You're just waiting in the lobby. You're talking about comms. If you're Boise State, you're saying, hey, maybe we got one win. Maybe we're going to be handed a second one. What is the thought process right now to make sure you're ready to go? I think there's a lot of aggression, but in a good way. You're putting it all towards how you're going to play in the next game. It's just like, hey, 
you know, this, this is dumb. This is stupid that this has to happen. This is, this is outrageous that this is happening, that another team would go to these lengths just to get a dirty championship winner trophy. That is just, it's a bunch of rage piling up and it's like, they're going to come out fast. They're going to come out aggressive. And like you said, that first minute will absolutely determine whether or not this goes in favor. If we see the series totally flip flop and we watch the Broncos go up in the series three to two. Yeah, we're going to see if that does happen, where the series does line up. Once again, though, you got to think that the Broncos are come out with a little bit of extra heat, a little bit of extra conviction. They're going to come out, hey, you you cheated. That's how you really feel. You think we're that big of a threat, huh? Let, let, let us show you what we can do. We might look goof, goofy with a big old battle bus, but we pack a punch. Like we said, only one game dropped all year long, and it was to this talented Spartan squad. I'm excited to see what the Broncos can do being handed another opportunity, another chance to crack open this game. Grant, before I said the clock had struck midnight, looks like the clock was running a little bit fast. Daylight savings just <laughs> take that hour hand back a little bit. <laughs> maybe what well, what i mean has fall already come that soon i hope not i mean <laughs> as you and i both know in indiana it feels like it has it was snowing like a few days ago what's going on with that it's winter time it's cold again i was like stop it but hey i mean daylight savings may have just happened as you're absolutely right the clock has reset we come back to game five and i'm i'm really looking forward to this i hope we can get some extra information see what's going on what the status is so we can relay that to you guys we'll let you know what's going on as soon as we do um and maybe a a moment of silence so i can so i can listen we'll, we'll get this Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're going to review you want me to review that same footage mr broadcaster man or would you like to oh okay so yes once we get the timestamp for game two we're going to review that and why don't we take a look back at exactly why we are sitting here in game five in the most bizarre end to a championship that we've seen ethan yeah bizarre in Indeed, Grant. This one has all turns, all sorts of turns and twists to it. Look a lot like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Never really know what's going to happen. All of a sudden, the Broncos are dead, back from the dead. Maybe they're even knotted up in the series at two apiece. We don't really know yet. Once again, once we find those timestamps, once we figure out where potential cheating may have occurred, we will investigate that and we will show you, the audience, the proof so we can be on the same page. Yes, we will. But as we all know, when you get a lot of replays, it takes a long time to load. Let's see if we can get there. We're, we're waiting on it. You know how you just close it and then reopen it and close it and reopen it? Because that's the cycle we're going through now. The loading symbol that's going on in my brain has matched in entirely here. Oh, now it's disappeared as we talk about it. So we'll swap on over to there. Again, for some reason, it doesn't let me game capture. So we're going to do this the scuffed way again one more time. So we noticed it was right before the second goal that was scored by the Spartans. So we noticed there, there's the demo that's in question. We'll make sure you guys can see it, see it, see it clearly. Here. Also, forgive me for my thumbstick drifting over here. You can see how tough it is out here. Look, we're trying to go right. It's not letting us, but right, right here, Toxic's going to get this demo on Stully, right? So right when it happens, we'll notice the clock at 2.44. Bang, right there, 2.44. Three seconds is typical respawn time. But when we notice Stully does leave the team and joins back, you'll see right in that little crack there, that... He joins back at 2.42. Now, I don't know about you, but 4 minus 2 does not equal 3. So that is in question here. Then, why this is such a huge deal is because they're able to advance the play afterwards. Check this out. Stully gets a little involved, bumps Tendo out of the way, right? That was Tendo's ball, who was probably, honestly, going to take it up this wall and put it right in front of net, if I'm to make any guess at all. They're really awkward. They're turned around backwards here. They didn't know what to do with the ball, but Stully takes over. 
luckily has spawned on the left side, gets involved with the play, sends Circuit's potential really, really good opportunity on net away, sends it up to the backboard, Toxic can't capitalize, and then what makes this even worse, and I mean, regardless of the outcome, we were going to have this outcome anyway. So Tendo passes up the Blue Phoenix, and they score off of that entire very just weird play. So that's that's what has happened here. We see some player integrity kind of slip up, and now we're going to game five. And we've also got information that we're going to be investigating game two. Now, it has been five minutes, so hopefully they have looked through the replay and found us the evidence we need. Yeah, absolutely there, Grant. And once again, even if the replay in game two shows that cheating did occur and it didn't feel like it had a big impact on the game, no ball is touched for a matter of seconds, it is about the principle of things here and putting players first in the NECC. It's about the fact that cheating is just unacceptable, even if it didn't lead to a big advantage, even if it didn't change the outcome of a game. It's just not okay in the competitive scene. It's not okay at the pro level. It's definitely not okay at the collegiate level. So we want to sort these things out. Once again, just make sure that all the action here is above reproach in the NECC. I appreciate everyone in chat staying patient. Hey, you know what? Chat, what are we what are we eating? What are we, what are we drinking tonight? As long as we got a few minutes here to sort out whether or not there was some indecent happenings in game number two. Personally, you know, Grant, you Grant knows you always got the water. Changed up the cup today. Got a little, little protein shaker. Uh, believe it or oh. not, I do wash my dishes, and the usual mug is in the dishwasher. Uh, we got some some pancakes, you know. Uh, it's 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 a classic. Believe it or not, every caster likes pancakes. If you don't like pancakes, you're not a real caster. Well, I mean that is that is pure facts. But hey, you know I like pancakes. When we went over to, to that one place, that one restaurant for breakfast that one time. What did I order, Ethan? Tell me what I ordered. Chocolate pancakes. That's exactly right. So we're on the same page. Every caster likes it. And if you disagree, why are you casting? You're, you're just not you a caster. Be. Yeah, exactly. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be a like caster. Chocolate chips is a 50-50. If you don't like chocolate chips in your pancakes, you could be a caster, right? You got to be phenomenal mm -hmm. in other areas, but the, the chocolate chips isn't a deal breaker. The pancakes themselves is, all right? You mm -hmm. have to like them. You can like waffles more. You can like crepes more, but you have to like pancakes at a bare minimum or you got you got to go. You got to go. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. All the young, hopeful casters in chat I'm trying to make a career out of this. You, you got to do what you got to do. Know. So if you don't like pancakes currently, you just start eating them every day. All right. Really just, exactly. just put your nose to the grindstone and start eating your weight in pancakes every week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, full disclaimer, this is satire. Don't actually do that. It's not great for your health. You might gain a lot of weight. You might feel really sick because sugar does that stuff to you. It's kind of toxic to the body, especially if you're on a sugar detox. Now, I see you right there. Good job. Keep going with it. Don't give up to the one person that was doing that big heart anyway we are still awaiting that one that one um <laughs> our broadcaster is just amazing first of all but someone oh hey, someone hey, has all just, right someone someone, someone has just closet doors. okay okay let it be known <laughs> let it be known you can't see from me sitting down here but i am a man of stature i'm not just saying that i have a little too much weight around the waist i am just about six four with the shoes on so sometimes i run into things okay and one day i just happened <laughs> to run headlong into my closet door busted them both off the runners and i just haven't I, I'm lazy. I haven't I haven't fixed yet, okay? I don't know if it can be fixed. I don't know how happy the landlord is going to be. So if you really want to help your boy out, drop some Venmo money to pay my landlord to fix that because it's probably going to be about $50 to $100 at the end of the year, a little bit on top of the account. So the doors, I walked into them. I'm a big dude. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I've just looked into our stream team chat, and I've noticed something. I don't know if this is a direct quote a direct quote from the rule book, but what is being speculated is if found guilty, we're, we're going to get information real quick. So we'll take a quick silence break. Oh, Caleb's going to turn his microphone on. You'll all be able to hear our beautiful broadcasters uh, voice production microphone on here. Um, here's the current understanding of the rules as written um, in early January of this year, slightly changed um, just to make sure that the wording was a little bit more clear recently. Um, but the first offense is a game forfeit, which is why we can guarantee game five will happen. However, the second offense is a series forfeit, and the team that would win would be Boise State in this case, 
obviously, as MBU did this twice. Um, now, the reason we didn't catch game two is, unfortunately, throughout this, I had to eat dinner. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> our casters were doing their jobs as good as they possibly could, but I had to go grab some food as we were doing a nine-hour production today. But we're making sure that this is properly gone over. Both Boise and MBU are both looking through the VODs right now and making sure that they're double-checking each other's works, as well as I have some of my production team working on it. And, obviously, Grant's beautiful face is uh, doing a whole bunch of stuff, too, uh, and to make sure that that looks beautiful as it is. Um, I just realized my mic is a little quiet. Sorry about that. But <laughs> those are the those are the rules as we understand them, and that's why we're sitting here and, and making sure that this is going over as in-depth as possible. Before you go, for the interest of everyone in chat, what did you eat for dinner? <laughs> I had some uh, nice steak and uh, some peppers and broccoli. So we like to that hear. That is esports money, nutritious and delicious, ladies and gentlemen. He got his greens in. If you want to be a producer, I, that, there, there you go. Straight, straight from the mouth, the best, one greens. of the best ones I know. Greens, I greens. protein. That's it. Mm-hmm. Well, Ethan, I'm, I am certainly shocked. If there is a second offense, the stakes of this, this possible second cheating offense, this could totally forfeit the championships and Boise State would walk out of it. And I mean, as a player, right? First of all, that sucks, especially if it's the same person. If it's, if it's the whole team doing it, then disgrace to the whole team. If it's one individual, I, I wouldn't necessarily say disgrace to the individual, but like shame on you for having that low of integrity as you play for the championships. You've gone all season just fine, and how you have to try to get that extra edge is just very disappointingly, I mean, very disappointing the way it was handled. Um, but, man, if Boise win this just off, off of a forfeit, it just doesn't feel earned. I think it's great, but, I mean, th there are just so many factors up in the air on how you can feel about this, and I, I, I don't even know, Ethan. Yeah, my hot take. Here we go. If I was on the board, if Ethan James Don himself got promoted to be on the NECC board, here is the rule addition I would make. If this happens twice and it's the same player, they forfeit a game the first time. The second time, they forfeit that game and that player done for the series. You got to finish in 2v3 fashion. <laughs> I, 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 it only makes sense, right? If the whole team is cheating. Cut him. Cut that turkey, right? A but hot take. but hey. if it's just one player, let him play 2v3. Let's get it cracking. That would be an absolute blast. I am just saying, there's a basketball game two years ago, Alabama going up against University of Minnesota Twin Cities. Colin Sexton, I believe, playing for the Crimson Tide, and they played 4v5 and almost got the dub. We saw it in League of Legends last year, that aforementioned Becker and Champlain series, the longest series in NECC history, if I'm not mistaken, to date, both broadcast time and in game time. That was a long series. Let me tell you, as someone who sat through the whole thing, we saw 4v5 go down in game number one. There is precedent for it. I know it's kind of funny to talk about, but as a way to not punish the team and potentially have a magical moment happen, I'm in full support of a 2v3 to be added to the rules for next season. Well, Ethan, there, there's a reason we have a specific board that does this, and I uh, hate to break it to you, but there's, there's a reason you're not on the board, Ethan. I appreciate the hot take. It is truly spectacular, very interesting. Um, but I think what we're going to do here is if they can send me the replays, because apparently my Bacchus mod or my Bacchus mod, however the heck you say it, uh, is not working, and they were not automatically saved. Um, our producer does have the files, so if they can somehow get those to me. Yeah, they're going to try to get them to me, and we'll look over them together. You know, Ethan, you and I can talk, and then I'll switch my camera over. We can label it as reviewing, reviewing the play or something in review. I don't know. Investigation. Something spicy. Who has any idea? But, um, yeah, we're going to get those replays. If, is this the game, too? They might be in reverse chronological order. Hopefully not. Uh, but I'm going to download them all. Put them into my folder and see what is done about them, what the dates say on them. They should be my most recent ones. So if there was one in game two, and yeah, this this is just the most. The, I, I don't even know what the word would be to it. It's like I'm I'm conflicted, I'm confused, I'm excited. I like what we're seeing here, but I also hate what we're seeing here. But I just think it's so unique. I don't think any championship has 
had this dramatic of an ending to it. Yeah, the word I would use is unprecedented. Not much Bingo. to go on for this. There's not much that we know. There's not much that we've seen. There's not much that we've experienced. But this will be the game. Ten years down the line, when this happens for just a second time in history, they'll be like, well, uh, how'd the NECC handle in the past? Bada bing, bada boom. This is the film. You know what? There might even be a rule added moving forward from this. Oh, okay. Can, can, I, can, can we name the rule? If, if this is a rule added, oh, no. I, Grant and I have dibs on naming it. I am just saying it right here, right now. We Full have support. dibs on naming this rule for next season. That, that That's all. Dibs dib stands. That's, that's legally binding, right? Take me to court over yes, that sir. one. Lawyer up, yes, buddy. Sir. Well, boys, I have some good news and no bad news, actually. We have the replays. We're going to look over them together. We are going to watch the scoreboard the entire length of the game and just make sure it is being reviewed. And if there is a team swap, this means that Boise State will win off of a forfeit. They will win the national championship from a forfeit. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, my beautiful take, my beautiful face takes that side of the screen, or in this case, it's that side. But you get the point, and we watch the scoreboard. So, for the next five minutes, we will be reviewing the tape because we don't have a time mark. This should have, I should have called this and started it a while ago. But if you see it, if you see a name or a name drop off the scoreboard, that is a. That's going to be something. We're going to speed it up to 200% here. If there's a name that drops off at any point from either side, there are going to be repercussions here. So we wait for this to finish out. This is the quickest game of Rocket League I think I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, Grant, this one going absolutely monstrous pace. Oh, my gosh, look at these dudes just fly around. All right, nobody wants that. Uh, this <laughs> is an ideal time to grab some snacks because I just want to remind you, we have more fantastic games coming up after whatever happens here in chat asking how much how much Addy am I on? Absolutely none. Purely 100% water and pancake diet. Uh, you know we keep it real here in Muncie, Indiana. So uh, if, if for anyone wondering home, it is Krusty's pancake mix. It's the discount kind from Kroger. It's about a buck sixty nine per box. A lot of bang for a buck. The the chocolate chips are Ghirardelli, however. We did splurge a little bit for those at the house. So killer combo. I say go cheap on the pancake mix, deck it on the chocolate chips. Killer combo. <laughs> well, we'll have to take your word for it. That's for sure. You know, making me hungry, although I, I have had a lot to eat today. So I don't think I'm feeling any sugar that would upset my stomach and things would not go well, much like this series and this championship could not go well for Missouri Baptist if there is a time when things switch up. I also find it fascinating that in the replays, it literally tracked everybody's ping throughout the series. That is That's some valuable information to hold on to. You never know. You never know when that's going to be important. I'm just going to say that that should be a stat. Who scores the most goals at what ping? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, is is the best 20 ping player as good as the best 40 ping player? There's a lot of that. I hope I open chat. You know that SpongeBob? Hey, write that down. Write that down. RLCS. Write that down. Write that down. I am just saying. I'm spending some gold. I hope I hope someone's writing these things down because I, we might be changing the face of Rock League forever. Hey, I, I'd be right there with you. We are one minute and 20 seconds away from deciding this. I think we'll look over all the games because I'm not sure that they were sure that it was game number two. We might not have it at all, but this is something definitely working or looking over because this is just about the only way you can cheat in the game of Rocket League is by changing teams to give yourself an unfair advantage or a different position that also gives you an unfair advantage in some way, shape, or form. So 30 seconds in, re in real time, it would be about 10 more seconds until we decide if game two is clean or not. We'll move to game one and three. Um, but this, this, this does look a little bit like game one. We'll look over all the replays. They all finished two to one. It's so hard to tell. <laughs> yeah, they all finished two to one. Yep, that is right. So game something. Has ended well. Yeah, game two, <laughs> game two has ended well. Three, but they, 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 yeah, they're numbered. Wait, so hang on. They said what for game three? What was the timestamp? Oh, dear Lord. The fact that they have a timestamp is so nerve wracking. 315. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting scared. I'm honestly getting scared. Yeah, we're, we're going to see here. I mean, this this is the moment of truth. Oh, uh, my this, gosh. We, we, we could be watching the series here. Hit tab. Oh, dear Lord. Not seeing anything yet. No demos. 315 has cleared itself. Huh. 
Ask them to double check here. We'll go back a few seconds. This is huge. Maybe they were maybe they were blind and they had the wrong numbers. Uh, I hope they're not in reverse chronological order. We're going to check them all. Ask them if they are 100% positive. That is the time mark. Ask them what time the replay was. Get, get all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Ask what map it's well, on. Ask yeah, that'd what be a map. Good one. That, is, that is a big key alert here. Once again, we oh, appreciate goodness. everyone's patient in chat trying to stick around as we get the verdict <laughs> on what is going on. We're, we're going to see. Um, I, someone said put up a poll in chat about this. That's a killer idea. I don't know who puts the polls up. If that's a mod thing, Wait. if that's just a Caleb thing, that's Wait. a killer idea. Wait, what if they meant 315 as in on the timeline? Oh, goodness. Oh, okay, we're at three, 308, 309, 310, five seconds until a moment of truth here. Oh, my goodness. I'm so I'm so nervous for them. But, yeah, if we can get that map, that'd be great as well. Looks like they're clear. Looks like they're in the clear. But they can figure out what map it's on. The fact that they're like they are hard accusing this, like they've got the evidence. We're looking over it. It is it's crazy. Like we've we've already proven that one game. So oh my. It looks like they're clear here from both sides. We'll wait, we'll wait again. Once again, if you're just tuning in, folks, we'll go back to the game, whatever replay this was. This was game something. 905. These are all at seven o'clock. I don't even know. F in the chat for that one. Yeah, that's... Anyway. Uh, <laughs> producer. I don't know if your mic's still hot or not. It's probably not, but... Yeah, no, it's not. So I just look like I'm crazy talking to myself sometimes. But for those just tuning in, we uh, this is so peculiar for you, I would imagine, because you've probably never seen a championship in such a dramatic ending. But this is the play in question right here. Grant, so, Chad is saying uh, that you changed last game over just as there was a demo. I changed last game. Don't worry about it. We'll get we'll get the map and everything. We'll be we'll be set up. We'll be ready to go. We'll put it on the 200 speed and all that good stuff. But right here, we're about to see the play in question. Actually, it's not anymore in question. But we're going to see Stully. They are going to get demoed right here by by Toxic. 2:44 on the clock, which means they should respawn at 2:41. But you'll notice on the scoreboard, and if you watch just below the orange side as well, you'll see him spawn at 2:42. He changes teams right there. Respawns at 2.42, two seconds, which is not the standard respawn time. Standard respawn time and what we play is default, and that is three seconds. So four minus two equals two. For those of you who have been in math class before, or even just a kindergarten math class, that is what you know. Those are the facts. Stoli, their integrity and the way that they play this game, uh, not the best in here. So they have forfeited this game four. We will be going to a game five regardless of what we see. Oh, so they want to get game five started right now. Does that mean that they are calling off the ac accusation or I got to. Goodness. But here we see Scully as well. You know, they got involved in this play and then Tendo passes it up and they score off of this. So Scully was involved in the play. You know, they changed up the rotation when, you know, they, they could have spawned right. They could have spawned left. Who has any idea? There was still a second, but milliseconds decide this game sometime. That was the play in question. We are going to go ahead and hop into game five. If we get an actual accusation, you know, if we get some solid, hard. Oh, goodness. I've left the party when it. Ugh, my controller, man. It's, 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 making me, it's making me silly over here. That's for sure. The controller betrayal live for everyone to see. We do see some of the players in chat. Toxic and Boise State. Uh, Toxic saying they just want to play. Boise State uh, talking a little bit as well. So we are going to start here, uh, which is what we also did. Uh, this this is following some precedent from that same Becker Champlain series. We continued forward and reviewed the footage later with the board, um, rendered a decision later on in the week. So following precedent here, continuing moving forward. Uh, if Boise State wins, the series continues. If Missouri Baptist wins, the series will end, but that's not to say that if there's a second allegation that is proven true, true that the title will not be revoked and reallocated to Boise State. Just so crazy. Well, I'm going to need another invite to get back in this party and get this Game 5 underway so I can be present for it because this is such a weird ending. Like I said, you know, my contr controller betrayal, it, it happens sometimes. And this one's been betraying me for like the past two weeks. Uh, also, shout out to my team teammates from another league, Hollow and Wild, who sent me money after we lost both series to 
buy another controller. Now I don't know if I'm gonna I don't I don't know if I'm gonna get another one of these, but like just the fact that they sent me money so I could be their teammate and still play in the league is absolutely just the kindest thing anyone has ever done for me in my five or six years of playing Rocket League, however long the game's been out and I've been playing it. So shout out to them and uh, we will never see a controller betrayal on stream again. Hopefully. Hopefully. Fingers crossed for that one. We're going to see if that does come through. Like we said, we're going to pop in here to game number five, a three to one series lead for Missouri Baptist. Uh, <laughs> bit of a wild one. If you're just joining us here, uh, down to the line, looked like Missouri Baptist had won it all, and then there were some cheating allegations which were proven true about leaving and then rejoining to reduce demo timers. And here we now sit at a 3-1 to one Missouri Baptist advantage. Boise State has been given a second opportunity, a second chance to dance, and we're going to see what they do with it, Grant. Oh, man. I've just got to say, Stully, who has just rejoined the game right before... This is this just shows the immaturity levels, which is even more disappointing, right? But we're not we're not even gonna not even gonna get into it. But their name was not appropriate for the situation, so uh, we go into this, and now it just makes me root for Boise State even more. <laughs> zero zero bias in the booth being showed off by Grant here. I'm so um, disappointed. I'm like a dad <laughs> talking to his son. Is like go to your room for six weeks, like. Goodness gracious. I can't I can't believe it, man. But we're gonna get these teams ready and get this game five underway. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're Hilt, going to see in the booth. Here. <laughs> Grant's not mad. He's just disappointed in the booth. <laughs> He's got, if, if we could pan down to see what Grant's got on the bottom half, it would be a nice pair of dad pants. Maybe some new balances to boot right there. Super white. Crush, fresh enough. Oh, th those qualify. Those qualify. Yeah. Those, are some, those are some lazy <laughs> Sunday dad pants. Uh, but regardless, as we said, if you're just joining us, a 3-1 to one lead here for Missouri Baptist. A win has been vacated due to some cheating allegations. And we now find ourselves in game number five. Boise has life once again. Boise, this will be their official last chance as a shot comes flying into the back wall. Big miss for Circuit. And Tendo this is going to start off with a one-goal lead for Mi Missouri Baptist. Yeah, Missouri Baptist starts it off hot right here. They are not messed around 10 seconds into this young game, and already they have cracked the scoring here early on. Grant, what does Boise State have to do to combat that goal? Look ugly on the rotations end. Pick up the pace and just play how you're knowing how. We're seeing a lot of misses from Circuit, who is a very early concern in this series, and now is an early concern in a very young game, like you said. And Stoli is going to start off and go the toxic route. Yeah, Stoli going to find a goal right there. The, the reason that we are still this far into the series, but does put in a solid opportunity there. Some good team play from the Spartans as they look good to open this game up 2-0. to zero. Stully backs off of this ball, plays it off the sidewall. Thunderama with a touch backwards into their own corner. Circuit plays it up to the ceiling. Oh, big dunks. Almost Tendo sneaking away with the goal. Blue Phoenix off the back wall. Nobody to contest. Toxic with a 50 out to the side wall. Stoli has a decent touch. Toxic in the midfield. Thunderama gets it by Tendo with the save. Circuit waits back in the field for the next touch from Missouri Baptist. Here's a doink off of Tendo blocked by Thunderama. Back to the side wall one more time. Now a minute gone from this game. Yeah, a minute elapsed here and a 2-0 lead still for the Spartans. Give it a defense. Toxic taking that one to the side. Well, gets demoed right there. Good play from the Spartans. Getting a little dirty, little bit of elbow grease. Setting this up. There's Toxic. Circuit getting back on defense. Playing this one into the corner here. We're going to see if they can find something. Thunderama passing it forward. Not going to find the goal there. But looking for the second opportunity. Doesn't get it either. Toxic as well. This Boise State offense is starting to boil up a little bit. They send one to the backboard. Now a big clear as well. Thunderama sends it in. Tendo takes over. Toxic wants to put it back to their corner. Buy themselves a little time to steer this ball out here, but this pressure has been looking good so far. Like I said, pick up the pace, and you'll see a lot more of that pressure continue to build for Boise State. 
Yeah, Toxic finding something here for the Broncos. Can they turn it in? Can't find much right there. Tendo stonewalling with the aerial circuit. Playing out of the corner. Had started to turn the corner in that last game. We're going to see if they can find some more momentum here. Solid clear, but it's going to be met with opposition from the Spartans. Circuit, solid piece of defense. Here comes the center, or maybe just a shot opportunity. Circuit right there. Good bit of defense for the Broncos. Blue Phoenix off the side wall as well. Toxic sends one down deep. Another touch backwards. Sends around the corner. Thunderama midfield. The circuit. All oh, their shots just off so close. Toxic plays one off the side wall. Now a clear from Missouri Baptist. They carry it out as well. Ground pinch. Dumble commit as well. They're getting away with a lot of stuff here. Going for a flashy play off the ceiling. Doesn't find the pinch. Almost a bit of a keem stomp there. What a almost unmentioned mechanic in competitive gameplay for Rocket League. <laughs> Yeah, nearly was. Nearly found a goal off it. Probably gonna find a goal here, but there's the save from the Broncos. They keep this game manageable. Just under two minutes to go. They trail two goals, Grant. They've got to find some offense here. Thunderama, solid touch. Puts it into the corner, looking for a center. Can't get it, but there is a bump from the battle bus that we love so much. Looks for the center coming through. Not going to find it there. Lone man back is circuit, and it's going to be back just in the nick of time. Toxic as well off this back wall. Thunderama can't get a quick enough shot. Circuit though has the opportunity. Now a double commit on defense makes it a little bit more dangerous for Boise State are missing a lot of crucial touches on the ball that will allow them to continue this offensive pressure. It's something I've been oh! on them about, but they're gonna bring it back within one. Toxic, that was absolutely dirty. So get the hand Sandy in here. Look at this, plays it off the wall. Over two defense. Defenders, and this game is a one goal deficit. Here come the Broncos. They got to keep this pace up. That is the only factor that is going to give them the win here. Beating the other team to the ball is going to be huge. Bronco Mania looks to run wild here. They get a 50. This one's floating towards net. One player contests off the backboard circuit. Waits in the midfield. Wants to carry. Gets a boost. Past midfield. Off the sidewall. It will go again from Thunderama. Toxic with another shot. Almost places it behind. A leaping save stops it for now. Toxic off of Blue Phoenix. Now a big counterattack, but not good enough on the power. Thunderama plays it up high. Wants Toxic to take over. Oh, he goes low. We're tied up in game five. Toxic, oh my gosh, smoke and mirrors, young Houdini in the house, look at this play, keeps it low and slow like a pot roast, and we are all knotted up at two apiece, Grant, the Broncos are, oh do you hear that, it's the stampede, they're coming. It is indeed a stampede. They got to get one more goal here. Three has been the magic number. They got to keep this pace going. Here's a missed shot opportunity. That would have for sure been a goal. Thunderama with a leaping save. Blue Phoenix, their shot is off target. 30 seconds now. It is not time to let up. Broncos need to get more pressure. Thunderama looks to be on the ball here. Circuit rotating back. Wants to keep their offensive or their defensive rotations alive. Ergible blocked away out to midfield. Toxic in the hunt. Finds Blue Phoenix. Oh, a rush shot here, played up high. We could be looking at overtime for the first time in this series. Now a touch from Missouri Baptist around the other side. Five seconds to go, one more opportunity. Oh, it's looking good for the Broncos. They play it up high. Tendo's there, contest, and it goes down. We are indeed looking at the first overtime after such a dramatic reset. Dramatic reset indeed. A win vacated. Overtime found. The Broncos may have new life, but they can't mess around. This Spartans offense has not slowed down. They are steady on their two-goal pace right here. They can't oh. find the clear. Broncos, Thunderama finally gets it done. There's Blue Phoenix, Toxic rotating back. Good, solid rotations from the Broncos are going to keep them alive in this one. But Toxic can't find that ball. Getting back on defense there. Incidental center by the defense. Oh, oh circuit. Wait. Solid touch. Can't oh. find it right there. Getting back. It's played into the corner. The Spartans survive. A scary moment there. Broncos, man, they it's the only point I really stressed in terms of analytical play here. The Broncos are missing such crucial touches, and one goes in for Missouri Baptist. They end up taking the championship anyway, but what an interesting way to get here. Yeah, what a crazy, crazy series of events. Stoli putting home the game-winning goal. The drama started and ended with Stoli in 
this one. I'm not sure if we're going to cut to an ad break or have interviews. We have gone pretty late on this game. Producer mm -hmm. man from upstairs, what is the verdict? I, I'm going to say right now, I don't want an interview. I don't think they deserve it. I'm thoroughly disappointed in it, so I don't think it. I think we're going to go to an ad break, so we'll see you afterwards. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. And welcome back, a point in time that we thought we'd never get to in that long 40-minute break. But I have the distinct pleasure to be here with Commissioner Jacob Van Ryan. How are we feeling after that crazy series? Had a bit of everything. It was like a play. So much drama, but we finally get to the end with Missouri Baptist, the champions. 
Yeah, and, and Ethan, first of all, thank you. I appreciate it. It's great to see you, my friend, and, and I thank you for your efforts tonight handling a tough situation as well as you did. Um, I, I'm once again really proud. I'm glad you referred to the Becker Champlain situation because I think that's right. I'm proud of the way our team handled it. I know it was a bit of a delay, but we want to make sure that competitive integrity is upheld at all times. That is first and foremost. It was it was it was managed as well as we possibly could have, given the time circumstance, given the situation we were in. Proud of our group, proud of our team, proud of our leadership. And I thought you and and Grant did a good job. Yeah, absolutely. A very tough situation, but we did get to the end and. Personally, it does feel like the Spartans put in the superior yeah. effort tonight despite everything that went on, and I'm glad that we got to this point, and I'm excited for them to eventually receive this trophy. Do you have any words on what you thought of the performance there, Jacob? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, the, the situation that, that caused the, the forfeit of the one game is, is unfortunate, but Boise State didn't win another game. I mean, l l let's be honest. I mean, and, and, and Boise State's a terrific team and a terrific program. We know that. So don't take anything away from what Missouri Baptist accomplished tonight. They, they won four games. Um, simple as that. Boise didn't win any with the exception of the forfeit. So I, I think Missouri Baptist is a well-deserved champion tonight. I know that there's going to be some frustration, but at the end of the day, Missouri Baptist made the plays in those games which they won uh, to earn this championship, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely, and earn that championship they did. I would try to get them in to call here. We're going to have two-thirds of the team and the director of the program in here, Death Walker Tendo and Blue Phoenix, joining the call right now to receive their well-deserved hardware. We're just trying to get everyone in here. Death Walker now joining us. How are you feeling? Oh, man, <laughs> they popped right back. <laughs> you know, it, it wouldn't be an esports cast without a little bit of scuff. But Jacob, well, you're here. Oh, oh now we, here we go. Here we go. We, we, we got it. Death, Death Walker, Blue Phoenix in the call. Some of the team joining us. How are we feeling after that big win? No, it was a fantastic uh, when some unfortunate stuff happened, which I would love to touch on if you guys would. Yeah, the stage is yours. Go ahead. Yeah, so if you guys. Uh, no, when you do a custom match, there's actually an extra button to be able to go to your settings. And Stoli was actually having some FPS problems and misclicked. And we also have the VOD um, that shows that he, he realized messed up, left. Then after the goal was scored, he went to settings right after that. Um, kind of sucks it got put into the terms of cheating because uh, that is nothing what we want to be known as because we, we're not that. we. He was just having problems, misclicked, and um, hopefully everybody can understand that. As you can see in the VOD, it was pretty close to three seconds. We know we broke the rules, and we accepted that and just moved on. But uh, honest mistake on his part. So as for MBU, we apologize for that. Yeah, absolutely. And as we said on the broadcast, hoping it's just an honest mistake, no malice intended there. But regardless, you did come through with the series win, four to one. Got to be proud of the team right now. No, hundred percent. They they came ready to play. They put in a lot of time. We've audited everything that they needed to do to make sure they would come up on top. Um, they were, you know, coming into game five a little antsy, but like they pulled it together and got it done. So. Hey, Coach, I, I got to ask you, first of all, I appreciate you clarifying that moment for us, and, and, and kudos to you for joining us, and we truly appreciate it. Um, it, it walk me through that, that goal in overtime and what that meant, because you sort of get the feeling like if Boise State is able to come from behind to race that 2 nothing deficit, all of a sudden, all the momentum's back with them, even though you'd still hold a 3-2 game lead. Just talk about that moment for us. Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, we went up two goals right there in the beginning feeling strong, and they were coming back and picking up the momentum. And uh, you could see it in the guys' comms that, hey, they're getting quicker. They're getting to the ball. Uh, they're get maintaining boost control. We were we were hungry for boost, right? So getting to that overtime and uh, scoring that one last goal, you know, ton of hype in the room, excited. We know we deserve this and brought home the victory. Yeah. Uh, Blue Phoenix, also in the call, would love to hear how what, what does it feel like an undefeated season, right? 9-0 and in the regular season, quarterfinals, semifinals, light work. You get here to the championship, you drop one game, which is all you drop the rest of the playoffs combined. Has to be a great feeling. So uh, this is actually Tendo. I actually <laughs> Tendo. Oh. Blue Phoenix. So, uh, 
Account, yeah. account hacked. All right, all right. Nintendo, <laughs> exactly what I just said. It's like a Mad Lib, you know, just erase that, put Tendo yeah. in there, a little, little white out. Yeah, we were having a little bit of technical difficulties. But uh, so, you know, we we had just always been keeping the high press, usually throughout this whole entire um, like season. You know, we always had usually the faster speed, you know, always gain the boost control and really hit our shots really well. So that's really what kept us up for that you know, undefeated season throughout this NECC. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. I am sure you guys are anxious to, to get your hands on some hardware and to take a look at this trophy. So I'm going to toss it over to the most handsome man of the call, Jacob and Ryan. Let's see what we all came here to see. Hey, guys. Well-deserved. I want to emphasize that term. Well-deserved. Congratulations on NECC championship in your first spring season with us. We're thrilled to have you, and congratulations. We'll get this out to you. We'll get the shirts. We'll get the headsets out your way. Congratulations on a perfect season and a championship here tonight. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much, guys. Thank you. Yeah, well, it was the one thing to say oh. before I leave. Let it go, Tendo. Mm -hmm. All right, well, first off, shout out to the boys, you know, keeping that really well and, you know, keeping that series into it. And especially shout out to Blue Phoenix, our number one keyboard and mouse main. Oh my gosh! Are you are you serious? Yeah. That needs to get added to the Casters note page immediately. You're telling me you you got an undefeated season on this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> wee! Yes. You might as well you might as well be playing on this pancake right here. That, that's how wieldy keyboard and mouse is in Rock League. I promise you. You see this? That's that's what you might as well have done. Well. Um, now that I have to scrape my brain matter off of the floor and the ceiling for telling me that you got the undefeated season on keyboard and mouse, I think we're going to pass it to a quick break. On the other side, we've got Durham. We've got St. Clair. It is going to be an absolutely massive matchup that you do not want to miss. What will you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. 